Hi, I'm Stephen Farley and I'm going to explain a bit about my OpenGL game engine program. This is a project I've been doing in my spare time for the last few months now. It currently uses a few open source libraries such as GLM for maths functionality, OpenGL for rendering, ASIP for model loading and SDL for window creation. In future, I plan to integrate either NVIDIA Physics or NVIDIA Flex for devimation. I'm researching these two libraries for the final year dissertation and hope to make use of my knowledge. The thing that is special about this project is that it holds an entity engine, similar to Unity. I took inspiration from the Ash entity system for ActionScript 3. So starting off we have the components. These are just containers of variables. Uh, for example we have a render component uh, that has a pointer to a model in the asset loader, a uh, view matrix and a projection matrix pointer from the camera and some uniform shader locations. Uh, we have a movement component that at the moment is only applying, uh, it's only got velocity and acceleration, and a transform component. This has got quaternion uh, rotation uh, variables uh, and a model matrix in position. Uh, so this is the components, they're just essentially variable containers. Now we'll move on to the nodes. So this this this, this uh, entity engine is a system with nodes uh, which also have components. Typically you might have a system that have components or you might just have a component system. Um, this is using nodes. A node has one or many different types of components. For example the render node has a render component and a transform component. Uh, this is useful because when I'm rendering I need to know the transform information which such as like a model matrix or a position. Uh, that information is important for rendering. So but it's also important for when you want to move, you want to know what velocity you have to apply to your position. So I can pass different, the same component to different nodes and they get updated at the same time. So at the moment I've just got a render node, a movable node and a transform node. So now if we move on to the systems. So for each type of um, node we have a system. So if we're looking at the render system. Um, the render system is just going to handle all of the render nodes here uh, in the scene and we give the system uh, nodes so for example if we create a box that wants to be rendered we give it to the uh, render system and then the render system does all of the rendering so here is uh, the current render loop we are just applying uniform location for the matrices for the view projection and model uh, camera positions, these uh, light uniforms. Uh, this might be quite tightly bound at the moment, but uh, in the future I hope to uh, resolve that. And then we call draw the model from the pointer and the vendor component. Um, we also have movable system. This is quite simple. Uh, currently it's not using any special integration, it's just add the acceleration to the velocity the velocity composition and transform we have a just a quaternion update and we also figure out the model matrix so as you can see each node has a system and all of the systems run uh, along with the game um, through the game loop uh, all of the systems are handled in the entity engine so the entity engine currently has a pointer to every system. Uh, all it's really used for at the moment is one update call here, which updates the systems and you just add nodes. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do something a bit more with it in the future, but right now this is all it's useful. That sums up my entity engine. And if we look at, we're going to just quickly look at an object that uses the entity engine. So this is a class called Spinning Square, um, and as you can imagine, it's an object that wants to be rendered. It's an object that spins, so it wants to uh, update its transform, and uh, it may also move if we wanted to. So as you can see, the variables of the Spinning Square we've got move, move, movable component, or movable node, render component, render node, and transform component, transform node. So. The upside of having the nodes, being able to share components to different nodes, 
we create the transform node and uh, we check, create the transform component, the render component, and the movable component. And then we just hand them to the, the nodes that are interested in them. Um, and all it takes for this setup is a model, a pointer to a model location, um, pointer to the projection matrix for, from the camera and the view matrix, pointer to the engine, NT engine, uh, initial position, initial rotation, and that's all that's, uh, all that's running there. So this is quite simple. It's we've got the delete, we've got the create. Uh, these are just the variables. So all that we've got really is just this update, moving the, rotating the object around. Um, and this is all it boils down to. So if I really want, if only I want to, if I only want to update the model to rotation, all I do have to do is just one call and it's all handled in the entity engine. So that concludes looking at my entity engine. Uh, hopefully in the future I'll be able to do some more update videos as I develop it further. Coming soon to the engine I'll be doing collision components and uh, also hoping to integrate, like I said, physics and flex. Uh, thank you very much.